Hi, this is my response video to Coder Monkey and this video about the Prisoner Dilemma in open games. The Prisoner, prisoner Dilemma is basically uh, the dilemma that arises when, uh, when the player characters take prisoners in the game and uh, they have to come to uh, some kind of, uh, of a decision on what to do with the prisoners and the dilemma arises when they can't uh, come to a uh, conclusion. <coughs> so um, I for, for one think that uh, this is an interesting thing to have in a group because I like the moral discussions between the characters and I think that uh, really gives uh, interesting depth to, to the campaign. So I actively try to get those kinds of things in my campaigns. <coughs> uh, but uh, what I really want to talk about more is uh, alignment I don't want to have a discussion about alignments really, I just want to pose a, an alternative way of thinking about alignments. So the traditional way of thinking about alignments is that uh, it's a label on the character that defines how the character uh, acts, how the person is, when, like uh, what kind of person that, per that the character is. But instead of seeing it like the, a label like that, it's, uh, I, I pose that you instead see it as uh, a reputation with the divines or the higher powers. So it's uh, how the gods, how the higher powers perceive that character as being. So, for example, a paladin <coughs> would have to have a lawful good alignment because uh, the gods would have to perceive the character as being lawful good in order to see that person as being worthy of uh, begin, being given, the, given these, uh, these powers that a paladin gets. <coughs> and the same with an assassin. It has to be evil for those, those gods or higher deities or higher powers to uh, see that assassin as worthy of getting the assassin powers. And uh, the, way, uh, the way I see it is that this, this uh, keeps the rules intact so you can have the alignments, uh, which is an integral part of Dungeons and Dragons, but at the same time opens up the, the potential for the characters to be played as the player wants to play the character, instead of just having a label that forces the player to play the character the way that uh, that label uh, says that they should be acting. So, uh, I mean, uh, you had an example with uh, the neutral, neutral good player that uh, would, uh, what was it, burn down an, an orphanage to kill that evil character. <coughs> that would uh, not necessarily be a problem, you would just be playing your character the way you want to play your character. And uh, if that changes the, the alignment, because the gods perceive the character differently, well that would be up to the GM, or GM, I mean. So, uh, I mean, you would still have a uh, the same thing with the DM would uh, warn the player like okay this could be perceived as an evil act just so that you're aware of it but it's still not uh, something that would be breaking the character so yeah I would love to hear what you have to say about this or anyone else so uh, yeah see you around